prepared yet. You need to try and pick off the units as well. Look at the shields on the Mark Oh my god, the bow is gonna take them! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the Metalopolis, the city that never sleeps because it's just covered in creep all the time. And as you can see, Idra is making a mess of things. Uh, the roof of this building is probably unsalvageable right now. <laughs> and uh, the same likewise up here for Nurtio in the north location. How dare he? Incredibly um, inconsiderate. Whatever the case, we have Nurtio in the blue trunks. He is to the north and he is playing Zerg. He's actually from Team Empire, if you want to know, and you certainly should. Empire, a fantastic team. Very powerful players. Versus mm. his opponent from Team Evil Genius is the one and only Idra. He is in the green trunks and he is playing Zerg. Equally as powerful team, EG. That is uh, scary. Best North American team. Uh, arguably one of the best outside of Korea. Yep. So, uh, Clash of the Titans, as said, and it's going to be a cool map, this one, I think. Uh, they spawn cross location, as you can see, the expands moving away from each other, and uh, this is really going to test Nurtio's skill. His first game was a little bit fast, yep. which means, you know, people can win fast games against Idra, but can Nurtio go the distance? Yeah, going into a uh, big, long slugfest macro game against Idra, that is terrifying when you think about it. Really, really scary. Indeed, nightmares. Absolutely. And uh, we'll have to see, is anybody going to go hatch first? Um, and they are. Uh, this is not close position, so both players know that they're not uh, close by air now. So mm. they know they're cross position, so we might see uh, hatch first. Or actually, Nurture's going to go spawning pool first. Okay. Yep, I would expect a hatchery first from Idra, considering yeah. the timing. There you go. And this is pretty common place from uh, Idra, you know, fairly confident opening right there. Spawning pool first, considering the distant positions. Why on earth would you do that? Because he hasn't scouted yet, um, Idra could be on tilt. You know, he's got this emotional uh, in control. Uh, so he could be doing some fast pulls, so it's just safer to get spawning pull first. And if you are confident in your style, you're confident in your late game, you can go spawning pull first and be safe against early aggression while maintaining a high level standard into the later stages. Yeah, I really, really liked your Freudian slip, by the way, and it's got this emotional in control. <laughs> right, I see. <laughs> Oh well, and in control is probably standing behind him right now, coaching him and giving him back rubs. He's been known to do that. Back rubs are pretty good, especially because being a StarCraft player, you're always like hunched back. Yeah, I have a feeling that a back yeah. rope from in control would probably break your spine, so I don't know. Unless mm -hmm. Idra wants to be an overlord for the rest of his life, I'm thinking that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Maybe he can take someone else. Maybe. Oh, actually, Idra was like surrounded by big guys, like machines are big guys. Yeah, too, he is. But... He's actually very scary. In fact, I've actually heard rumors <laughs> that right now in control is actually bench pressing Idra at this point while playing. So that actually speaks volumes to Idra's skill and APM. Well, if Chef can play with a keyboard on his lap, Idra can play while being bench, bench pressed. pressed. Yes, indeed. That's just how good he is, folks. Nergio coming up right here with his expansion a little bit later than his opponent, needless to say. Speedling upgrade is on the way for Nergio, and no sign of that whatsoever yet for Idra, who is holding off on it for the time being. Gas is on its way, so he could follow up with this very, very rapidly indeed. In come the Zerglings, and some scouting information is acquired. A little bit of a micro battle going on right here, and Nergio with the initial engagement gets the first hits off, but actually Idra with an excellent defense and nails down pretty much everything and that's mutually assured destruction right there. Yeah, 1-1 one, one, but uh, Idra having all the HP left on that one link. Yeah, it's always nice. Uh, meanwhile, Nurtio's still having two in gas, building up quite a lot of gas at the moment. We'll have mm. to see what he's going to plan to do with that. He might throw down a Roach Warren soon or uh, maybe an early Evo Chamber. I'm not sure, but we'll have to follow that because I'm pretty sure Nurtio's not going to be making too many mistakes especially at this level. Nurtio doesn't make mistakes when yeah. it comes to his builds. It just doesn't happen. If he's got two in gas, he's got two in gas for a reason. Yeah. And we're about to find out exactly what that is. Yeah. Yeah, there is a I mean, Roach Warren. Warren. Yeah, that's so. probably why then. Yeah, he, yeah, The thing is, he times his builds out so well, everything he does is for a reason. Like, for instance, his build, which is the plus one melee, into the Infestors, into the Broodlords, is mm. perfectly timed in PvZ and PvT. So, it... It's kind of crazy like that. And uh, Idra's got a Bane Nest down. It's not too far away from finishing. Ten links in production, though. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best decision in the world. Uh, no. Did he scout? He had a link inside Nurture's base, but did he scout the Roach Warren? No, he, no, he didn't. didn't. He hasn't seen the so Roach Warren yet. This, could, this is good for Idra for the circumstances he's in. He doesn't know about the Roach Warren. If he'd had, he wouldn't have gone for it. Yep. 
And uh, can, for, certainly use them defensively. I mean, it's not a massive loss, even yeah. if he ends up going up against a bunch of roaches, especially with these Zerglings moving in. He can certainly pick off some scouting Zerglings, get a good interception right here. And looking for the surround, and Nurtio is able to do just that. Mitley has to watch out for the Banelings. A second engagement going there. They're just sort of scratching at each other's eyes. as detonation. And what a detonation it was nice. as well. What a cleanup. Yeah, that was really nice. Defensive bailings, really good. And uh, Atria did do that in defensive mode. I guess he can be a little bit more aggressive now because he knows the unit count is pretty low. Uh, nice micro there by Idris saving both of those drones. And now we have Idris pushing out with a lot of links, two bailings as well. But what does uh, Nurture have? He's all five roaches in production. Going to really shut this yeah, down quite fast. Yeah, he should be able to do just that. He's morphing in Banelings without knowing whether or not his opponent's got roaches, which mm. is not a particularly good idea. Now he's seen it. And will he cancel the Banelings? Mm, well, no. the Banelings are in a defensive state. They're in those yeah. natural, so he can keep them there for any run buys by Lings or anything. Uh, and Idra just decides to pull back. Where is he going to go with these roaches? I mean, where are these Lings? Okay, the Lings are going around the back. I guess he could poke around, but meanwhile, we do have Idra with his own Roach Warren about to finish up. Going yep. for the second gas, an Evo Chamber uh, being put down as well. It's looking reasonable for Idra right now. He's certainly in a good situation economically. I mean, it's 41 drones to 27. Oh, wow. Bailing's morphing in right now. This could be very damaging. And hey, it's a freebie. Why not? Idra smashes and grabs. And the question is, will he see the Banelings? He does not. No, has no idea about those Banelings in the corner. This could be economically devastating. Yeah, I mean, if Idra baits the roaches out and distracts Nurtio, like, here he could... Okay, he's moving down. Maybe he can do bait this. Okay. Mm, he's looking for it. That's exactly what he's looking to do. He's baiting it out. Unfortunately, Nurtio's not going to take it. He's moving in for an interception nice. right now. Pulls everything off the line. How much damage he's been? He's going to do one, two... Uh, oh, my God. He only he's took two? a sink. No, he lost one drone. Oh, wow. Okay. Both Two of those three Banelings were sniped off before they did any damage at all. Oh, so, yeah. Nurtio is fine right now. He's actually catching up quite nicely in terms of his drone count. Building quite a few more mass droning coming in for Idra however he's building another 11 and is taking his third yeah he needs to get into that gas ASAP uh, and he's taking that very early third base I mean how is Nurtio going to react to this he can either take a you know base of his own now or he can go ahead and, and attack and uh, oh look at that very smart he's actually going to go ahead and take the gold base that is interesting, but not uncommon for Nurcio, honestly. Nurcio likes to take the goal base on the Metalopolis in a lot of different matchups, and mm. usually it's because he has he doesn't need to throw as many drones at it, since obviously it's it's got less patches, it's more efficient to mine from there, so he can have a larger army. Admittedly, he doesn't tend to take it this early, considering he's on 84 supply right mm. now, but there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. And uh, Idra very smart scouting both third lo base locations, the, the north one and the gold, seeing that the base has been put down there, which is very smart from Idra. And uh, now we have Leia, not too far away from finishing from Idra, a little bit behind from Nurcio. Uh, look at the unit count now, pretty much equal, 56 drones versus 54. And uh, Roach count 11 versus 13, 11 for Idra. Uh, and a lot of units being made still for Idra, another 8 roaches out. And uh, there's a lot of timing still that, that Nurture could hit that are very aggressive ones. So that's why probably Idris getting a lot of roaches out, wants to play defensive. He has a good drone count, but needs to be going to that third base soon. I mean, he hasn't taken the gases again. You need to be taking gases, like, immediately. As soon as you expand, you need extractors. Idris actually rolling out, and it looks like he's going to start to apply pressure to this gold base. And I have a feeling he's got the count for it. He's looking at 20 roaches versus 13. I'm Ooh. not entirely sure if Nurture can hold this, honestly. In fact, I'm almost certain he can't, especially uh, with such a large disparity between the roaches. In fact, he's... He's leaving, and he's going to be forced into a cancel situation right here. He can't allow the complete. He was so close as well. Wow, I can't believe he cancelled that. I thought maybe he could have streamed in units, but okay. Mm, he, he, did not, he didn't have the count. I think his decision maker was right there. He would have lost it one way or the other, and he would have thrown away units in the process. What is going on there with those units? It's mostly a party, honestly. I think that's all I can really... Oops. Either that or he's chastising the drones. I don't know what's going on right there at all. You see that sort of dancing around as he goes back and forth? I don't even know. Whatever the case, Infestation Pit is now yeah. complete for Idra, and it's been complete for Nurcio for um, quite some time. And while that was going on and Idra was moving out, there was a counterattack with Lings onto the third base, but was pushed away by a defensive bailing from Idra. The yep. Lings then went into the main base of Idra, did snipe one or two drones, but uh, nothing too big. Idra in a great lead right now with this third base up and running. Uh, and now, great play by Nitsha to go ahead and take a fourth base. He's looking for it, and he should be able to secure this gold this time around, I would think, with 27 roaches. He's still up against 31, so it's a mm. little bit tense. The upgrade count, however, is actually in favor of Nurcio, since he's got a good 50-second lead on missile attack level 2. Mm. So any kind of engagement over the next minute or so for Idra will be a little bit risky. 
God, he's just trying to push it again. I mean, Panathin Glans has been researching. Festers are coming out. Looks like it's a little bit more favored to Panathin Glans this time. Yeah. might pop out. And Idris Scout in the fourth base, very smart with that overload. Sees that two bases have been taken at once. Yeah. I think his timing is right this time. It certainly looks yeah. like it at any rate. If he screws it up this time, then he's going to be very, very unhappy. Oh, yeah. That I can guarantee. And we will check it in the process just to make sure. It's just hey, it's something to talk about. Hydro is then coming down right here for Idra as well. Interesting stuff. Well, he's at 160 supply now, so we can kind of uh, fill up the rest of his army with Hydras. They have great DPS. If you have yep. a, a good amount of roaches to tank, uh, Hydra's just great. The longer they survive, the more damage they're going to do. So uh, that's really good for Idra. Um, though he doesn't want to be too heavy on Hydras, I mean, uh, usually you see players going for Hydras a lot later on, want to get the Infestor count up faster, but uh, we'll have to see how that works out for him. Well, Hydralisks, I assume, are extremely vulnerable to fungal growth considering their low HP. Yeah, I mean, the Infestor do more damage versus Roaches because they do more damage versus Arbid now, yeah. uh, but still, if the Roach count goes down uh, from these uh, Infestors, then the Hydras are going to be left exposed. Mm, indeed, that would be unpleasant. So right now, Idra is sitting on four. That is, in fact, not four. It's actually five for his Infestor count. 36 roaches right now. So it's pretty much equal in terms of the army count. The economies of both are pretty equal as well. So as we can see, Nurcio rolling out to try and do some damage. Now that will be scouted with the fast overlord right here. All over the map right here. Lots of spread all over the place. Difficult to keep track, certainly. A little bit of engagement going on. There's a few scout watchers. That was actually a very smart play by Nurcio because he sniped off an uh, Infestor in the process. And there's a big fungal. It's big fungal on both sides. I think it's actually in favor of Nurcio right now. Very difficult to tell. Everything is covered in horrible, horrible moss. What can I say? Infestor Terrence coming into the middle as well just to make a mess of things. The Hydra's chewing through Nurcio's forces, however. And Idra is going to be able to hold this. Yeah, but really smart play by Nurcio. As he was losing that fight, he just went ahead and sniped all the Infestors, which is really important. They're so gas-intensive. All these Roaches are so low in health, though, he's going to have to get Bora soon to actually repair them. Yeah, the Infestor uh, difference ooh. is huge. Look at that. Seven Infestors to one as a result of sniping those off. Look at the resource balance now. 1,600 to 80. Uh, Nurcio taking a fourth base very fast. is mining gas from it. And that look at that. His resource is so much more aligned to his plan. And unfortunately for Idra, it's just happening again. Just like the first game, he's not getting Extractors fast enough. His minerals are too high. He's got too many drones mining minerals rather than gas. And uh, that could be his downfall in this game. Yeah, he's not able to spend that money, which is hardly a good thing. I mean, it's a hardly a good thing for any player. And this is really problematic. It's gone over 2,000 now. And you have to wonder, what is he going to spend it on? Uh, yeah, I'm, nothing apart from more hatcheries, I suppose. The, the upgrades is going to go in favor of Nurture now because he's got more gas. He's researching that plus one armor. He's getting more infestors. Uh, we actually see a spore crawler uh, in production now for Idra on that fourth base, and that's just to deny any uh, borrowed roaches to come ahead and uh, fungal growth or infested terrain. Infested, of course, yeah. Yeah, great, great harassment. I also happen to notice there is a hive going down right here yeah. for Nurture. And uh, no, Idra has, okay, the Novolod's moving in, maybe. Yeah, but he should be able to scout this. Why, why is he not moving? Mm. Why is he not moving? Oh dear. Idra hasn't moved in quite enough to scout that hive. He just needs to move one millimeter uh, north. Just uh, one, that's all he needs to do. And uh, now Idra's adding a lot of hydras actually to this army composition, especially with plus two, that's 14 damage, gonna be able to do a lot, and they, they actually fire so fast. Oh, uh, yeah, going to be able to do a lot of damage. Roach is caught down here. Uh, do borrow. Yep. Disappear. No Overseer in play right now for Nurcio. He is building one immediately. It's a shame if he had one there, he could have got some good kills. In the meantime, Idra coming in for the attack and immediately gets the first Salvor, but that's a lot of Infestors. Huge number, and they're already pretty badly injured to begin with, so the Roach count is starting to melt. If they eat more Fungals in the front, then those Hydralisks are going to be very, very exposed indeed. It's Another fungal, fungal goes down. It is a very big Fungal. It's a giant Fungal. Oh my, oh my. And here come the reinforcements, but it's a great Fungal from Idra as well, who's able to hold the line. Those Hydras are chewing through Nurcio's roaches. He has to break this now, otherwise he will lose this fight and of course then lose the Infestors as a direct result of that. Looks like he's going to leave immediately and mutually assured destruction pretty much. Yeah, Idra lost a lot of Infestors again. He lost a lot of Hydras. A lot of gas was misspent and now 44 roaches in wow. production from Idra. 28 and a great Aspire now. He hasn't and, uh, yeah. moved the Overlord. He hasn't moved it. He doesn't know. He has no idea the high tech is coming because he hasn't moved about one centimeter to the north. You can see it right there. The hive is up. He thinks it's a lair, and that is going to be a huge problem if he continues like uh, this. Yeah, I mean, if he'd scattered that, he could just add on a spire of his own and just build a bunch of corruptors. Doesn't even need to go to hive. 
Uh, but that could be a problem. But for now, Idris got a large account of roaches, but not so many infestors. And uh, Nurgio has that infestor count. Big pressure coming in right now, and the infestors will make the difference. His entire army just ate a fungal growth right there. That was unpleasant. And Nurgio continue to power his way through there. Does he have the firepower that he needs? The roaches are equally upgraded. He needs another fungal growth in the middle there, and it's a good one. It lands, and the roach count just disappeared in a nanosecond. And uh, Idris, has he got enough to push through here though? It's very close, he might lose some infestors, borrowed infestors to get rid of them. Sneaky, sneaky. reinforcements? Oh Ooh. dear, yeah, he's going to need reinforcements immediately. He, Idris is actually building 10 infestors right now, which will certainly help him out an awful lot. Has he scouted the hive yet? My god, he hasn't scouted the hive yet. Hmm. It's problematic. <laughs> you, you think? Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a real problem. There's four corruptors on the way right now, and he has nothing to shut down Broodlord attacks. Hmm, There's like four hydras, if that, which is not enough. No, that's definitely not enough, and he doesn't have Neuroparasite or, or anything like that, so... Oh, There's seven corruptors in production. Yeah, it really, really is, honestly. A lot the, of gas saved up. Yeah, so. the economies of both. I mean, Idra's got a slight lead in terms of his economy, but as you said, he's not managing it all that well. He's got a ton of money that he can't spend because he doesn't have the gas count to do all these kind of reinforcements, especially considering he built ten investors at once. I am now very, very worried for Idra, if I'm totally honest. He's seen Corruptors coming in, and he doesn't really know what that means by the looks of it. He's not adding on a Spire of his own, thinking, oh god, it's Broodlords. He hasn't seen... Just, he he might go for a timing attack, thinking that Broodlords aren't out yet, but, uh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't think production. he knows about it. I really, really do not think he knows about it, honestly. He will see it, and when he does, he is going to be in big trouble. Mm -hmm. If he knew it was coming, he would bring out some Hydralisks, surely. He would at least try and start a Spire. He, ha he doesn't know, he hasn't seen this hive, he hasn't moved in, and this is going to be the critical point. That's massive fungus landed on Nurchio's forces right there, although Idra is taking some ruthless damage, and in come the Broodlords, and there he goes again on his own. Wow. Down um, the only road he's ever known. Oh my, that is a little unpleasant, is it not? Uh, yeah, um, not scouting the hive just Ouch. by uh, an inch with that overlord, not being able to scout the broodlords. If he had, he would have been able to adapt easily. Uh, and the scouting area there from Idria caused him the loss there. But I think more importantly is just the resource balance. Like 5,200 compared to 500 minerals of uh, Nurtios. Um, he just can't spend his money. He's mining too many minerals, and as you said before, he's not good enough gas to do what he wants to do. Yeah. So his macro was all over the place, and Nurtio, as I said before, Nurtio is known for his perfect builds, and his macro is exceptional, so you should never underestimate that kind of skill. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the IGN Pro League Season 2, and it's currently 2-0 in this best of 5 series. Nurtio versus Idra. Can he take the clean sweep? It's certainly looking very likely right now. We'll find out as to whether or not Idra can get back in the game right after this.